Hello, today we are going to start our series of lectures about Aspen Heises. There will be two parts. The first one talking about Aspen Heises is static, static simulation. And soon we will going to describe what is meant by simulation. And the second part will be the advanced or dynamic simulation. Okay, so the first thing, if you don't have Aspen Houses on your laptop, we need to install it. So we will go to this um, link. You can copy it from the description box and download it. Um, this is how it will look like. Okay, because some people may find it difficult to. Um, Uh, to follow the link, so this will open as been take. This is version 12.2. This is the most advanced one. Uh, the one I'm going to use in this course will be 12, uh, version 12 only. So this is how it look like from inside. And this is a description box uh, video, sorry. Uh, you can follow this video. And we will show you exactly how to um, install this program. Okay, just in case you don't know. So this one is all you can download only one part. You have to download all of them. And also download the, um, if you want to add Aspen Exchanger design. This is for Aspen Heises only. Okay. And there is also, this is the one I am using. I have downloaded this five parts and also download the process that, uh, the process data number 12 and the crack. Don't forget uh, the crack. Uh, so obviously this is not a legal way, uh, but the other way you can access Aspen Heises is by having a license from your university or, or school or from the, um, industry okay so after downloading this links and follow this video you will be able to access Aspen Heises okay and when you open Aspen Heises this is how uh, version 12 will look like so you can press new and create a new case this is how you can access the interface of Aspen Heises okay so we gonna create a new case this is like the word. If you are going to start using the word, the first thing you do is create a new page. Okay. This is how it looks from inside. For these steps, it's not important now because it has, it's linked to the process itself. And uh, currently we don't know uh, the process that we are going to use. Okay. So let's go and understand what is simulation about most of the time you are going to use heises if you are a chemical engineer okay so this is like a simulation for chemical engineers or process engineers why they are using it because if you have a big industry or factory okay so we have here a factory that has a feed of petroleum product petroleum feed and the target, we go to, as the beginning, we go to distillation, for instance. This, okay, it's too tight. Distillation, but at atmospheric. Then, after that, we go to vacuum. Vacuum distillation. Maybe we add catalytic catalytic or thermal cracking all of this we need to produce maybe a polymer so we need to go from a feed of a mixture to a specific polymer uh, call it polypropylene okay so what I need to do is to study if the temperature we enter the feed at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. 
if I change this temperature to 550 degree Fahrenheit, what will be the composition of the polypropylene? Will it be affected or not? Okay, so in this case, I can't change the temperature at the industry because it might affect the revenue and affect, affect the whole process. So in this case, we will do a simulation like copying the wall factory on a on the com on the computer using heises after that we will study the effect maybe of temperature is the feed temperature changing the feed temperature or the feed pressure so you get you're gonna study different variables to check how will it affect the composition of a of the specific polymer we are producing Okay, there is another example that I want to talk about um, that we see daily in our life is the water from tape. So we have this tape, okay, and there is a sink here. Okay, sorry for this drawing, but I am really new in it. Okay, so. there is a water stream coming okay so we have water getting out from the stay from the stay so we have now water so we know the composition of the stream we have a stream that consists of water h2o at a specific temperature well say temperature equal 25 25 degrees centigrade and at the atmospheric pressure so the pressure we are operating is, is at one atmospheric pressure and all the composition is a is only water okay so how can we simulate this flow or this stream on heises so let's go back to heises all we need now is to follow this message okay you can't uh, maybe you, you don't have time to watch this whole course so you can follow your follow uh, this message box the one i'm pointing at most of the time it will be helpful but in this course we're gonna go through very complicated distillation column and cracking units so maybe at specific point you need to check the course okay so the first thing you have to select a component list and if we click here you can check component list then you you press add okay it will open all the components that is available on aspen heises okay so the filter is all the families the families may be hydrocarbons like methane ethane proban uh, maybe solids like uh, sodium chloride or potassium carbonate there is diff alcohols there is um, methanol ethanol there is a different types of families okay for safety we always check all families because we need to see all the available components the search by full name or synonym so here you are going to search maybe we are going to add water so you can write water it will show you here there is a simulation name H2O or this is the chemical compound uh, structure H2O the full name water and the formula is H2O or I can search by writing H2O because I know that this the water is is the water formula is H2O so in both cases I'll get H2 okay I need to check select first because I want to show that there is a pure component like water or nitrogen gas or methanol ethanol. this is a pure component okay that has a specific structure or hypothetical component the hypothetical component um, is when let, let's go and describe this because this is important okay we say that it could be pure like H2O or maybe nitrogen gas this is these are pure components there is also hypothetical 
hypothetical component. Hypothetical component, when we are talking about maybe uh, natural gas, is, is, is an example. Most of natural gas is com consists of C1 and some traces of C2. So this may be like nine, nine, uh, 95% and this may be 4%. And the rest of components, this is higher than uh, propane or C3, C3 plus, plus means C4 plus C5 plus C6 and so on. It will be one person. So there is no component that is called C3 plus, but it has a meaning. So this is a hypothetical component, a component that is truly doesn't exist. It has an indication of something that is anything that is heavier than C3 plus or C3 proban like butane, bentane, uh, hexane, all of these are collected together. So this is a hypothetical component. It could be a hypothetical solid. So for in this case, this is a gas, hypothetical gas, maybe a hypothetical solid, and this is this goes the same way. You have NaCl, NaH, Na2SO4, and other different components together, or maybe not this case. Uh, the other case could be the coal. We know the coal consists of carbons with an diff, uh, different numbers of carbon collected together. So it may be carbon 20 maybe a uh, 50 a uh, 55 so anything that's higher than 50 the same way like c3 it will be c50 plus this is a hypothetical solid so go back to heises here we have a pure component hypothetical component and solid component and during the course we will add all of them okay in this case we are doing the water stream this is very simple pure component so we will write water and select it by double click so it turns from red to green so the status is okay and the component list will be low previously it was like the fluid package it was red then it will we you will check the message and you, f he, you will find out he's, he needs a fluid package. So we go to fluid package. What is the fluid package about? Okay. If we have a um, chemical reaction between nitrogen and oxygen, so we are talking about a chemical reaction. There will be um, input and different output. In some cases, like the water from the tape, you don't have any change in phases or any change in the, in the chemical composition it's water in and water out in this case we define the fluid package to tell the heises that we are going to have a chemical reaction so be careful that there will be a different product so then what I have entered or you are telling him stay calm and I'm not going to introduce anything in you for the fluid package, this is um, really deeply in chemical engineering and you need to read it very carefully. So they add it at home, go to the navigate, you will find the method assistant. Method assistant by clicking at it, it will open to you all the probability package or the fluid package selection assistant. So in our case, we are going to check, we are talking about oil and the gas processing. It, if you open it, you will find that they recommended that you use Banker Burnson or CBA or SRK. Okay, so we will get back. In this case, there is a different case like you are doing refining or chemical or clean fuel. fuel fuel or electrolyte or environmental mineral petrochemical and power okay most of the cases okay you need to check all of them like if we are going to use chemical 
he's he suggested in RTL this is the first one recommended but for some specific case like for at high pressure they recommended Ben Robbins okay so you need to be careful and read it carefully okay so in this case we're gonna press add and most of the time we're gonna go and select Ben Robbins why because it works for most of the cases okay after selecting Ben Robbins you're gonna find that the simulation area is active so you can go and do simulation now okay like this in our next video we're gonna introduce how to do the material history thank you